Jim Crary, thank you for joining us on No More Fools April 1st. John, thank you so much for giving up your Easter to do this. Really appreciate it. You've been awesome. Ah, thank you. I appreciate that. We have to do this together. And uh, you are running in, as I told everybody, you're running to represent Congressional District 2, which is two-thirds of freaking Oregon, for God's sakes. Seventh largest congressional district in the U.S. It is huge. I can tell you, my geography of Eastern Oregon has improved <laughs> about a thousand percent. Nice. Nice. And why are you running? I mean, what, what what's wrong with the guy in there? What are you running? Oh, man. What's wrong? What's right with the guy? Nothing. Um, Greg Walden's in there. He's been in there 20 years. reason I'm running primarily is campaign finance reform. I am so ticked off at the big money and the inordinate amount of influence it gives a very small group of people. I, you know what? I'm not only talking the talk, I'm walking the walk. I am taking contributions only from individuals. Wow. No corporations, no special interests at all. You know what? Because when I get in there, I'm going to represent the people in Congressional District 2. I'm going to represent my constituents, not Greg Walden's big dollar special interest corporate donors. Wow. And and there's a lot of people, it looks like, that are going after Greg Walden's job this time. Yeah, there are seven of us. And that's why the primary is May 15th and 43 days, 45 days. And it's it's a real horse race. And I want to be the one that gets to repeal and replace Greg Walden. So I'm, I need to make it through the primary. Absolutely. And, and that's just that's, that's an important point, everybody. Not taking any corporate money, not taking any PAC money, not taking any union money as well. Correct. You know what? Wow. I want I want union endorsements. I want union members to contribute. But you know what? I'm sure the unions can find use for their money instead of uh, giving it to candidates. My thing is, I would love to have public financing of elections. We actually have public financing of elections in Oregon, but it's back end loaded. You make a contribution of fifty dollars to a candidate, you file your Oregon income taxes. You owe at least fifty dollars. You get your fifty dollars back. What I would do is front end load it. I would give every registered voter 50 bucks. And you know what? It doesn't sound like very much money when you compare it to the $400 million that the Koch brothers are going to spend on the midterms in 2018. But we have almost 500,000 registered voters in Congressional District 2. You give everyone 50 bucks, you know how much money that is? $25 million. Wow. And, and the way I would do it is they could contribute all or part of that fifty dollars only to an issue or to a candidate that they could vote for so you couldn't contribute it to somebody running in texas only someone you could vote for i i ran in 2016 and i had 106,640 votes I know. if every if everyone that voted for me gave me 10 bucks that's one million sixty six thousand four hundred dollars you can run one heck of a campaign on that that's true. And I, I, you know, everybody, this is so critical here. Um, I don't have the, the stats up with me, but Jim kicked serious ass in 2016. And you didn't even, you hadn't even run a full, I mean, you didn't run a full time of election, right? You just kind of jumped in, right? I jumped in in January of 2016 and I just financed it for less than 5,000 bucks. I got, I got a heck of a return on my, you know, the votes gained, garnered for very little money. Absolutely. But this time you're going up with, against a lot of different people, people with some huge money. We know Walden's got a ton of money coming oh. in from, from all over the place. Uh, and, and especially interest that I don't think you're particularly a fan of, um, you know, uh, and, and, you know, where are you going to be? I know you're traveling everywhere. Your district's huge. Oh, wow. Where are you going to be next? Because if I okay. tell, yeah, where are you going to be? I'm going up to Deschutes County. That's where Bend is. And I'm going to go tomorrow spending three days. I've got a candidate for him on Wednesday. And every other, you know, the rest of the time I'm going to be going door to door, probably in Redmond, in, in uh, Bend, in Sisters. So uh, I'm going to be busy. I've got, I think, God, I looked, about 10, 10 more candidate forms. In, wow. And uh, let's see, I've got Harney County, that's out in Burns, that's where the occupation was, up in Grants Pass, that's in Josephine County, I got something in Ashland, I'm going to go to talk to the college mm -hmm. Democrats up in Portland, uh, Lakeview, that's over in the wow. south, yeah, I mean, you it's all this? over. You see this district, everybody, Jim needs gas money, Okay. <laughs> We're, we're helping. I mean, if anything else, we're helping Jim with gas money. We're helping Jim with transportation. We're helping Jim get to all these places because he has most of Oregon to travel and he's not sitting with fat stacks from private interests. 
Right. You know what? It's all from individuals. And I, I cannot tell you how many people said, oh, you can't do it that way. You're not as serious candy. And I said, I'm serious as a heart attack. And you can do it that way. Bernie Sanders, and I wish I, I'm not Bernie Sanders, but he raised $227 million in small dollar donations. He yeah. proved that what I want to do is absolutely a viable way to run a campaign. And you know what? When I do it, then somebody in North Dakota or in, in uh, Missouri is going to say, that guy in Oregon did it. I can do it, too. And then we get more people that are going to represent their constituents instead of their big dollar special interest corporate donors. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so excited that you're running. Thank you. It's the hardest thing to do. It really John, is. John, you are very welcome. You know what? It's been gratifying. I have met so many wonderful people. I've had so many great experiences. It's really been worth it. But I have to say, it does get a little tiring. That's a lot awesome. of windshield time, and I listen to a lot of podcasts. <laughs> I can imagine. Everybody, J help Jim. Jim, where can they go? Where's the website? Where can they it's, go to learn more? It's Crary. My last name is C-R-A-R-Y. Then the number for congress.com. So Crary for congress.com. And there's a, an Act Blue website or you know button that you can click on. Can't tell you how much I would appreciate everybody's support. And John, thank you for your support too. I really appreciate the opportunity you've given me. You're welcome, Jim. We have to do this together. And believe me, I would I never run for office. <laughs> I'd much rather do this. So thank you. You guys You're are great. welcome. All right. We will